All right, people, it's Saturday morning. I'm just chatting with a buddy on Facebook about the video that went live today, which was the Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, fix uh, where I put this mic, oh Jesus, where I put this microphone on. Yeah, if the video looks hazy, it's not the camera doing it. It's actually the fact that I woke up, made a coffee, drank coffee, and vaped like a son of a bitch, which caused a lot of haze in the room. Yeah, but, um, Last night on my way home, like the, you remember yesterday when I drove to work, it was all clear and the roads were mint and everything looked good. Well, look at it out there now. Let's get this window open. Look at it out there now. Look at the end of my driveway. She's just decked. Just decked. Car's buried in up to the tires and, well, bottom of the rim. But uh, if you look behind her, the freaking snow is touching the rear bumper. Uh, look at how deep that snow is. Oh, freak. Let me just zoom in real quick. And then we'll negate the screen. Perfect. So. Look at how friggin' brutal that is for, for snow and things, like, not exactly awesome. Good thing I got frig all to do today. Um, I need to do a repair on my shoes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Check these things out. Look at this. Friggin' soles letting go of the shoe, son of a bitch. Doing it on both. What you get for buying $20 Walmart shoes? But they're still good shoes and I don't want to throw them out and buy new ones yet. <laughs> they're actually comfortable. I hate that. You ever get like that where you buy a pair of shoes and you know you wear them so much that they just slide on your feet and feel so freaking good but you don't want to throw them out when they go bad so you just say frig it and keep them. Oh I better stop that. Friggin uh. So I'm gonna do a little little mend and defend on those shoes but I forgot that back in the day when I used to go to the gym I bought a pair of sneakers or tennis shoes or Whatever the Christ you want to call them. I don't know what to call them, but um, bought a pair of them and they were only for indoor use at the gym. Well, if you wonder what I'm looking for, I'm looking for my shoe glue. Um, can't find it anywhere. I can't find anything anywhere since I moved all this stuff around. Some bitch, but. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Stupid scampers got in here. Shall we try the temptations technique of getting her out? Well, that works. I love how gullible cats are. Well, that was a pain in the cock, but yeah, I don't want her going underneath the bed yet because she still has a tendency to chew wires. I wonder if this will work for those shoes. Probably saying, what are you talking about? Oh, you know. Some not fucking JB Weld, bitches. Gonna go ahead and spread this on the, uh, the underside here. Kick her on. Let's get at it. You ever wonder why Pug One calls JBL Weld Poop, because when you open it and you smell it, it smells like poop and at least poop rings everywhere. This stuff is disgusting, but I got the shoes all glued up. I got them pinched underneath my desk here because I don't have a vice in my computer room. We'll just let them fester and gradually solidify. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get out there and shovel some freaking snow. I don't really have anywhere I need to go today, but tomorrow I'm heading over to my parents' house and hanging out for a bit. So, yeah, that'll be fun. That will be fun. <laughs> for Frank's sake, it sounds like Scampers is up on the cupboard. What the hell am I hearing? That's over here. Would you stay out from back there? Now she's attacking my lamp. Oh, look at all the snow. Uh, freaking cats are driving me nuts. All I can hear is ting, ting, ting upstairs. And like, I put this rope here for her to play with. Why isn't this good enough? Why are you stupid kitty? Oh well, let's give these guys some more food because Oreo's out and she's getting there. Hey, me store. Hey, me store. Hey, hey, me store. Hey, me store. What you, what you doing? What you doing besides getting on my nerves, eh? What you doing? Hey, me store. Where you, where, where you going? Where, 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 where are you doing? Where, 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 where are you doing? You eating food? You eating food? Is it good food? Is it good food? Is it good, is it good food? Is it good? Is it good? You like that kind? Do you like being bugged all the time? Like you did to me? You like that? Yeah, you like that, eh? You like that, eh? Yeah, you do. Look at you go. Sometimes pissing off the pets is the only fun you can have in a day. Just putting that out there. Oh, let you walk in this room after I use a JBL. Or JB Well, then it smells like somebody took a great big dump in the trash can. <laughs> oh. Today's curing of choice, butterscotch. And here we have the fluffy, short-eared bunny rabbit, slowly eating her digested carrots and the souls of children. This cat, slash bunny, we'll call it a cabot, is off its rocker. And this is what happens when I'm bored, when I'm bored, when I'm bored. This is what happens when I'm bored, I make stupid videos, yeah. It sounds like the Keurig's peeing in my coffee. Look, 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 peeing. Totally go and pee in my coffee. Totally. 
Man, if my penis made that sound when finished peeing, I'd probably be too scared to pee again. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drink this coffee, have some vape, chances are that'll trigger a shit, so then I'll go have a shit, and go outside, clear the driveway enough to get the car out, go to the grocery store, because I really want some steaks and stuff, and get some steaks and stuff, and then go to the beer store, get a cheap eight pack of James, maybe, and then come home, park the car on the side of the road, snow blow driveway, come in the house, prep, cook, and make food. I think that might be good. This room smells like poop. Oh, I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee. It's so good. Mm. Just finished editing up the vlog just to get it all ready to go. I'm loving this setup right now. I got the Vamo with the uh, freaking Smoke Tech Octopus. It's pretty good. Ever since I modified it, that is, it's pretty good. In stock form, it's a piece of shit. Now it's just like, vapes away! I like it. I like it a lot. Just cooking some delicious banana candy by Yellick.cam. That cam? You can see that? Some old, wait, I thought this was supposed to be six. Anyway, 100% VG, 9 milligrams e-liquid. E banana candy by Yalik.com. It's yummy in your face. Well, I just got a call from Dad. He's like, uh, don't be late tomorrow. You know, show up at a good time and things. Don't show up like you normally do at like 4 o'clock, have supper, and hang out till 10. So I told him a story, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be there in time. Not a big deal. But um, just like I predicted, you know, I went and had some vape, some coffee, and now I need to throw a shit in the toilet. Son of a bitch. Well, I figured I'd show you guys this. There's also this can here that I gotta add to it. But remember how I did a while back? I was like, how many cans are in the box? A lot of you guessed uh, 150 and 180. Well, there's actually 213 cans in here. And this has been ongoing since Christmas. So that's pretty awesome. That's like $21 in friggin' empties. So that's a case of beer right there waiting for me. And this box is overflowing with awesomeness. So I'm gonna go return these, use that to get a eight pack of James, I guess, or whatever. I don't know what I can get with $21, but uh, we'll give her a go. And um, I keep forgetting. Hey, get then. Hello, scappers. Oh, puppy. I didn't even see her go back behind the door. She is getting bigger, though. She's almost as long as Oreo. Soon she'll be able to take on Oreo, no problem. But, um,. No, uh, I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Oh yeah, I forgot about Christmas when uh, I got gift certificates for uh, grocery stores. I got one for the green store, where is, which is where I always go. And I keep forgetting that I have it and I got to use it because if you don't use them in six months, they start friggin' dinging the son of a bitches with a $1.75 service charge. What the hell am I hearing now? What are you doing? Yeah, she's actually is starting to damage the wall a bit with her claws, so... <laughs> Oh well, she'll be getting vet treated soon because uh, I want to neuter her before she goes, or spade her before spay, whatever the friggin' term is, before she goes into uh, heat. Because if she goes into heat and she doesn't get banged out, there's a chance that when she comes out of heat, she could be a miserable piece of shit cat. And at that point, I will probably want to kill her. And I don't want to have to kill her because I like my kitty. So I'm going to make sure to get her spayed. Definitely within the next couple weeks, get her in there, get her friggin' shit all fixed up. Because, uh, you know, I've had her for four months now. What's going on with this door? Oh, God, shut up, Oreo. Uh, right now, I need to find my running shoes because my other shoes are still drying. So I'm going to do that and I'll bring it back, people. Found something a little awesomer than running shoes. Found these. I was saying, what the frig are these? They're something called Lug, or Lugs, or whatever. Lugs.com. I bought these way the frig back in the day. And the only reason why I bought them is I was hanging around with a crowd of white people who thought they were black. In other words, they thought they were gangsters, like friggin' 50 Cent and all that nonsense. They're still in pretty good shape, so I'm gonna wear these. And if I wreck them, no fucks given. They look stupid though because they're tan and Scampers is already in there eating them. Hey, stupid, stupid, Scampers, stop it, stop it. Run away, be free, puppy. Hung around with a crew of friggin' gangsta wannabes, you know, back in the tempo days. And it was uh, 
pretty rough scene, but I did it. Stupid, but I did it. But anyway, I'm gonna get these uh, lugs on my feet, coat on my back, gloves on my hand, and go assess the situation. Holy shit, these things feel weird, people. I feel like I'm like an extra seven feet tall right now. Holy crap, and the grip on them. Unbelievable. Then again, they, these things did cost me at the time like a hundred and some odd bucks. So, yeah, kind of expensive, kind of expensive. All right, I'm gonna head outside, shovel it right now, or there's like dog shit right outside the door because it's nasty outside and Oreo had to poop and he didn't want to deal with the snow I don't blame him I've been procrastinating this long not to deal with it either but I gotta go I got things and tomorrow I really gotta go because I really got things it's mom's birthday party so yeah I gotta make sure I can get in and out of my drive let's get this done holy shit people I'm out of breath I'm also out of shape that's for sure but we got the driveway all cleaned enough shoveled myself a path here came along here shoveled a path over to the car to get in and the end of the road. This snow was pretty dicked. Some of it was super light and then all of a sudden it came across a chunk that was like solid wet. <sighs> okay, we gotta go. Those shoes are definitely not made for winter season. Holy crap. There was a bunch of times out there where I almost taught myself how to Chevy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Teach me how to Chevy. Oh, frig sakes. But uh, yeah, those shoes are not made for friggin' shoveling or for walking in snow. Definitely not suited for ice. Well, I almost bambied a couple times out there, son of a bitch. Now this is the thing, right? Since I quit smoking, I have a lot more lung capacity. But my cardiovascular system needs to be ramped up. I need to work out. So I'm supposed to be getting an elliptical off my brother, and then I was thinking of picking up a weight bench, but then I was looking at those Bowflexes. Yeah, they're no good if you want to get really, really big and like Arnold Schwarzenegger strong, but I don't want that. I'm not looking for that. Basically what I want it for is just to tone up, and uh, you can get them for a pretty good deal. My biggest concern was would it fit downstairs because that's only a seven and a half foot ceiling and uh, some of those things are like eight feet tall. Now my coworker, he's got one and he said the only time it stands seven feet tall is when you fold it up because you can grab the bench and bring it up for, you know, storage. And he goes, that's the only time it's seven feet tall is when you fold it up. Other than that, it's the, the rods don't extend any higher than six feet. So theoretically, I could use a Bowflex downstairs and that would be awesome because that thing has every workout I need, you know, bench press, uh, curls, uh, leg extensions, uh, all, all that nonsense. It's all built into the Bowflex. All depends on where you put the cables and stuff and then maybe next year I won't even bother with the snowblower. I'll just shovel because I'll be in way better shape. I'll have a lot more energy and I won't get winded after, after so I'm like, I did better than I was on cigarettes, I have to admit. Cause when I was on the cigarettes, I'd be out there shoveling. Cause like my first three years living here from 2006 to 2009, no, 2006 to 2010, I didn't have a blower. I had no snow blower. So I literally sat there and shoveled the driveway every time it got snowed in. Now the ex wasn't living here at the time, so I literally did the driveway the way I'm doing it now. Trans Am's a snow bank and just shovel out one lane and we're good. You know, don't even worry about the rest of the driveway. Just clean it up enough just to make, just to survive because nobody ever visits. So why the hell have a six car driveway when you only have two cars in it? Because your friends never come over to visit and things. So that's all right. I don't, I don't really mind. But uh, we always go to Horton's anyway, and I like that better because they have awesome coffee, and I like awesome coffee. But uh, that's why I don't really care how about the condition of my driveway right now. The only thing that's kind of fucking it over is uh, we wanted to do a live show. And normally when we do a live show, like I'll have the G6 and the Trans Am in the lot, then Adrian comes over with his truck, and then uh, maybe Junk Drawer Videos comes over with his car. And then if anybody else shows up, it's like side of the road for you. Like if Catfish shows up, it's side of the road. If uh, Rex shows up, side of the road. But right now, the way it is out there, it's uh, pretty gruesome. It's pretty gruesome out there. Like there'd be everybody on the side of the road and we had to shut her down by, by 11 so nobody got any parking tickets. So that's why I think we're gonna wait till the hotter days, till like uh, spring maybe. Maybe in spring, maybe in April, if the snow's all gone, we can roll off a live show, have people over, vape, get some food going and all that nonsense. I got a, a gift card for M&M's Meat Shops, so we can always go there and get some like party packs and tasty packs and football packs and all the packs and pack them in the oven and grill them up and drive them in our faces. But uh, yeah, people, that was pretty tiring out there. I still got more shit to do, son of a bitch. But I'm going to end the vlog here and carry on on a later vlog. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button. 
questions, comments, concerns, you know where to stop them. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.